So I got the breast cancer shirts in today, which is Monday. They're all bagged up. All my shirts from now on are gonna be poly bagged, just like this. So uh, getting labels done, and these are going out tomorrow. I can't tell you guys how appreciative I am. The breast cancer shirt sold out in literally about three hours or so, completely gone. So absolutely amazing, amazing support. And as I said, I'm gonna be donating $5 for every t-shirt that you guys bought. And I'm also gonna go ahead and make my own personal donation. So I will let you all know the total donated uh, probably in the next video. So just super thankful and your support just blows me away as always. <laughs>all right what's going on family back to the commentary for you all sipping on my monster it is currently what, wednesday morning and this footage was shot two days ago so on my chest and tricep day uh started out on the incline barbell bench press i did this last week and kind of like gauge my strength on it so i wanted to go ahead and beat those numbers that i hit last week on let me take a sip real quick i wanted to beat those numbers so warming up here 185 um, going you know going down controlled and just exploding up and saving my energy for my working sets here I think uh yeah, 185 was my last warm up, and then I just bumped it up to 235, which you're seeing here. And last time I did this, so last week I had 235 for seven, no, I'm sorry, six reps. And this time, like I said, I was determined to get more reps and hit a PR. So um, I ended up hitting, I'll let you guys see uh, the bar speed and everything, but I ended up hitting eight reps. And you can watch it here. But I want to get on the topic of just giving you all an update. Uh, I just completed my very first week of being in the deficit. So week one of eight. And my weight fluctuated a lot. You know, I started 174.4. The scale went as low as 172.2. And then like this morning, I was 173.6, which is barely, you know, 0.8 pounds lighter than when I started uh, a whole week ago. But I'm going to get on that point of check out the bar speed, guys. Um, and, you know, this is no by no means very impressive weight, but I think next week I'll be able to do like 240 for eight, and then I wanna keep increasing, even though I'm in a deficit. But to get back onto the topic of weigh-ins, I recommend weighing yourself every single day. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, I hate seeing the weight, you know, I just go by the mirror, I just go by the mirror. While there is some truth in that, uh, I believe that weighing yourself every morning at the same time, you know, wake up, go to the bathroom, weigh yourself, uh, gives you the most accurate reading. You know, you weigh yourself for seven days for an entire week, you add up all those seven days of weigh-ins and you divide by seven, and that's gonna give you your average weigh-in for week one. You wanna do that same thing for week two, week three, week four, week five, and that's just gonna give you an overall better picture, you know, more accurate reading of how quickly you're losing on average. So, uh, you know, day to day, you can, the, the scale's gonna go up and down. You, you know, you, you might drop two pounds, you might go up a pound and a half every single day, and it's gonna mess with your head. So that's why I really, really recommend the average weigh-ins. Um, over just day-to-day -day weigh -ins. And you can see me here burning out a 135 on the incline. And this is crazy, crazy tough, guys. You know, call it bro signs if you want, but I always like, on the bench press at least, burning out on one or two sets with 135, um, just getting as many reps as I can. And I've been doing that for years, and I just always enjoy it. So try it out. Uh, moved on to some triceps. Now, you might say, why are you doing triceps? You know, you just did a, a bench. Shouldn't you be doing another chest movement? Isn't it chest and tricep day? And yes, which the reason I like to do a tricep after my first chest movement is it gives my chest a little bit of a break uh, to get back into the next pressing movement, which here is the incline dumbbell. Um, if I go, you know, if I do the incline barbell and then immediately go to the incline dumbbell, my strength is almost shot. So I need that little, you know, five to 10 minutes of recovery time so I can lift heavier on the incline dumbbell. Uh, here, was it 75? 65. Doing 65s and on the Barbell, I went for six to eight. On the dumbbell, I was going about roughly 10 reps per set. Uh, here you can see these last few reps really had to grind them out, but not quitting, guys. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, that was like an RP9, where pretty much it just means, oh, I have one rep left in the tank. But really, if they were to try to push themselves, they probably had, you know, solid two or three left in the tank. So be honest with yourself, you know, and you're not going to know how hard you can push unless you actually do push to almost failure. And, uh, you know, even push yourself to failure a few times. You guys see what your threshold is. A lot of people underestimate their threshold. Uh, but... Moved on to a French press, my favorite movement for triceps and the long head of the tricep. Really getting that stretch. You can see I even do some pause reps at the bottom. I pause at the bottom, feel that stretch in my tricep, and then push up. 
yeah, grinding that one out too. Um, I feel like for a few months recently, uh, I kind of like lost that intensity factor. You know, I was, you know, still in the gym, getting my workouts in, but I just didn't have that mentality of going in and crushing the weights and hitting PRs and everything. And I feel like recently, these past few weeks, I've been gaining that back. Um, maybe it's just feeling more confident or I don't know, just randomly, I feel like I'm uh, getting in my zone. So enjoying my workouts a lot. And I think also I'm going at a little bit quicker of a pace. Um, and I feel like if I go to quicker of a pace, I enjoy the workouts a little bit more. So I'm taking about a minute to a minute and a half rest in between sets, maybe two or three, maybe two to two and a half minutes on compounds. But I uh, finished up on some inclined cable flies, or I'm sorry, inclined dumbbell flies as you're seeing here. And I recommend sticking with me till the end of this video. I have a well, in this next clip, I have a rant, and I think it would benefit a lot, a lot of people. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, ChristianUsmail.com for online training and apparel, and enjoy this clip. All right, guys, coming outside to talk to y'all, because this is what I do. But I just finished up my chest and tricep workout, and I took Nala for about a 20, 25-minute run, as you can see here. She is. But a uh, good little run. That was my second official cardio session of this cut, which is, uh, it's been exactly a week. Look, she wants to be with me over here. <laughs> but um, second cardio session <coughs> and feeling really good. My hits and PRs today, strength is going up. Uh, that's, a real, that's a big goal of mine. I want to keep my strength during this little mini cut. You know, and it's not going to be long. I know to a lot of people, eight weeks is really long. But you know, if you look at these uh, these natural pros and these guys that are doing, you know, 24, you know, 30, 50, even almost a year long cut, those are long cuts to me. Eight weeks is really nothing. So um, I think I can definitely bring a solid conditioning in in eight weeks. And um, I want to get on the topic of doing like what you want to do, you know, and I want to kind of elaborate on that topic. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't be cutting, you should be bulking and bulking and, you know, be adding muscle. And though, you know, yes, I value everybody's opinion, but in the end, at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. Um, you know, being my career, which is, you know, social media, it's YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and building those social medias and reaching out to people. <coughs> my goal is to inspire as many people as possible. and by being lean, you know, by being shredded, if you want to agree with it or not, you open up more doors. There's more opportunities. Um, people notice you more, you know, and just hands down, there's just more opportunities. So uh, for me, staying really lean is a part of the job. It's, there's no, there's no question about it. You know, I can get fat and bulk up for two, three years and I'm old, you know, right now it's prime time. It's time to get in gear, stay on track, and uh, do everything I can to make a name for myself, and that's what I'm trying to do. Um, you know, I'm trying to do it, I'm not trying to have the best physique out there, I'm not trying to go to like, these, you know, big bodybuilding shows and place first men's physique and, you know, be 190 pounds on stage, that's not my goal. My goal is to seriously motivate you all and show you that, you know, age is just a number, age doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter if you're 19 or 17 or 25 or 45 um, it's never a wrong time to start working towards your goals because as soon as you do start and make that commitment that you're gonna work towards your goals you will accomplish them or you're getting closer and closer to accomplishing them <coughs> so do what's best for you and uh, don't listen to people talking crap you know right now I have people talking crap oh you're already cutting you're you're skinny you're skinny but uh, I guarantee you those, those same exact people in about 10 12 weeks they'll be accusing me of steroids because oh this guy's too shredded this guy's too he looks his shoulders are popping out too much he's too vascular I'm sure he's on these steroids and these steroids They're, it's the same type of people um, that do that and so it's nothing you can't be concerned about those people because they're not paying your bills. They they don't have, they don't have any say, you know. And don't get me wrong, there is like, I love when you guys comment and you know give me your feedback and your opinions and stuff. But at the end, you just have to do what's best for you, um, business wise, relationship wise, um, everything socially. A lot of people surround themselves with uh, like toxic people, you know, negative people. Hey, let's go to the bar. Don't be, you know, don't be a bitch. Just come to the bar. Let's get drunk on Thursday, Saturday, uh, Sunday, fun day. You know, then you, you realize, wow, half of the week just went by and I did absolutely nothing to reach my goals. And um, it's very important that you you do what's best for you. You know, you don't want to be 30, 35 years old, just still not knowing what you want to do with your life. You know, 
figure it out and start working towards them now. So, <sighs> sorry this is a little bit long of a rant. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching, supporting me, and uh, lots of good stuff is coming soon. I promise you guys. I've been working on some, been working on something um, for almost almost a year now, and uh, it's kind of in like the final stages of being complete. And it's not the gym. I give you that hint. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Just trying to make an imprint on the game.